ट्रेड माय नेम इज आशिम दत्त एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट ओवर करंट एंड अर्थ फॉल ट्रेलेट ट्रेलर एंड इट्स ऑर्डर कोड इज 22236220.1.8 सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द वर्किंग ऑफ दिस ट्रेलर सो दिस इज द ओवर करंट एंड अर्थ फॉल ट्रेलेट ट्रेलर न्यूमेरिकल टाइप एंड हियर वी आर हैविंग द थ्री फेज फीमेल कनेक्टर एंड वी हैव टू कनेक्ट द थ्री फेज मेल कनेक्टर व्हिच इज प्रोवाइडेड अलोंग विद दिस ट्रेलर यूनिट so in the first section we are having the three phase supply module and here we are having the four pole mcb and we are having the three led indicators for each phase r y and b and these are the terminals from where we have to take the three phase supply and this is the emergency stop and this is the multifunction meter module here we have to provide the three phase input and from here we have to take the three phase output and these are the two ports from where we have to connect the 230 volt ac for operating this multifunction meter then this is the digital meter module and here we are having the ac volt meter and here we are having the timer so we need to do the connections accordingly and here also these meters will get the supply from this two terminal so we have to provide 230 volt ac in these two terminals then in the second section we are having the ac voltage and current source so here we are having a variac which ranges from 0 to 230 volt ac so when you will rotate it in clockwise direction the voltage will vary from 0 to 230 volt ac and these are the two terminals from where we need to provide the connection so we will provide the connections for r phase y phase and b phase so these are the three current sources so this is for r phase this is for y phase and this is for b phase and from here we have to take the output so here we are getting 110 volt on each phases then on the last section we are having a p153 relay over current and arc fault relay numerical type so this is the p153 relay module and this is a numerical type over current and arc fault relay and here we are having the outputs for relay so this is the relay one output this is two this is third and this is fourth so mainly we will use the relay third and fourth output and for providing the power to this relay we need to connect the 230 volt ac in these two terminals then these are the four current meters so each current meter will show the value for each phases like it will show the value for r phase then y phase then b phase so this will show the current values and at the last current meter digital current meter we will get the value of earth fault then these are the four input terminals and this is the normal condition indicator led and this is the trip condition indicator led and from here we need to connect the load so this is the three phase resistive lamp load and it will be operated on 24 volt and this is the r phase so here we are having selector switch from s1 to s8 and this is the y phase and here we are having the selector switch from s9 to s16 and this is the b phase here we are having the selector switch from s17 to s24 and these are the three phase indicator leds and from here we have to connect the load with the main unit so we need to connect the four terminals which are there at the trainer and it is indicated as three phase load so we need to connect all the r y b and neutral connections to these ports of the resistive load and we need to connect all the lamps on the back side of the resistive lamp so let me show you where you need to connect the lamp so here you can see on the back side of the resistive load we need to connect all the lamps on these lamp holders like this so that is how the lamp should be connected to the resistive load now let's see the working of this over current and arc fault relay trainer so for that we need to do the connections first so firstly we need to connect this main unit with the three phase supply so i have connected this male connector to the female connector which is there on the left side of the 
connected and we need to connect the male connector there and the wires the four wires are needed to be connect to the main three phase supply so r will be connected to r phase y will be connected to y phase and b will be connected to b phase and the neutral will be connected to the neutral section so we need to connect the three phase supply and then we need to do the patch cords connection so firstly we will connect this three phase module r with multi function meter so firstly we will connect this three phase module with the multi function meter module so r will be connected to the red port and y will be connected to the y section then b will be connected with the b section and we will connect the neutral with the neutral now we will connect the other end of the multi function meter with the current source so r will be connected with this current source y will be connected with the second current source so as mark on the current source we need to connect accordingly so we will connect b with b current source and now we will connect the neutral so we will connect the neutral like this and we will short all the neutral with each other so now i will connect this neutral with the y neutral and the y neutral will be connected with b neutral and now we will connect the output of the current source of r phase which is this 110 volt we will connect it with this input connections and now we will connect the y phase with this connector and we will connect the b phase with this connector and now we will connect the neutral with this neutral and we will connect this neutral with this neutral section and we will connect this common neutral with this neutral section and now we will provide a single phase connection to the multi function meter and we will provide the neutral like this and similarly we will provide this to so this voltage section like this and now we will connect this single phase with the numerical relay like this and now we have to do the connections for the relays and before that we will connect this load section so we will connect 
the r to the r of the load section then we will connect the y with y of the load section then we will connect b with the b of the load section and then we will connect the neutral with the neutral section so now we will connect the r to the r of the load section y to the y of the load section and b to the b of the load section and neutral to the neutral and firstly we need to keep all the selector switches at off position and now we will connect the relay 3 so we will connect the center terminal of the relay 3 with the normal condition p connector and then we will connect this blue connector of the relay to the p section of the trip indicator and then we will connect the neutral of both the indicators to the neutral section like this and we will connect the phase of the phase section like this and now we will connect this relay 4 with the start of the timer and we will connect the other ends like this so that is how the connection is done so now after the connection is done now we will install the mycom s1 agile software so the installation procedure is given in the manual so the step by step procedure is given in the manual here you can see that so for each step of the installation the clips are added in the manual so you need to follow all the step by step procedure that is given in the manual for installing this mecom s1 agile and at the selection of the numerical relay you need to select p153 relay and then we need to install it so after the installation we will get the icon on the desktop like this so you need to open the interface so this is the interface which we get so here you have to click on i have read understood and agree to the disclaimer notice and then click on okay so this is the interface which you got and here you have to click on device configuration then p50 agile configuration info and then click on open and here you have to click on yes so this is the interface which we get so this is the p50 system and here this is the substation so for creating the substation and new substation the steps are given in the manual so you need to click on this and then it will be created as new bay and then this is the p154 numerical relay so it is of no use for us we are using the p153 relay so we need to click here so currently you can see this is the red indication and which means the system is not connected with the numerical relay so for that there is a connector which is provided along with this trainer kit and this software is also provided in the pen drive along with this trainer unit so this is a usb cable which is provided with the trainer kit and you need to connect these connectors in the relay and the main unit so this is the connector which you need to connect so this is the connector which you need to connect to the relay and the usb will be connected to your system so you need to connect the usb cable with the numerical relay here so here you can see i have connected it 
so you need to slide that open and then you need to like this so you need to connect it like this and after connecting it you have to switch on the trainer unit so now as the connections are done now you need to provide some value at the variate so that the unit will properly on and you need to keep on all the selector switches at the resistive load so all the switches should be in the upward position so you need to put the switches of R phase, Y phase and B phase at on position and now as we have provided some value at the variate so you need to rotate it in clockwise direction in a minimum position so I have set it at 60, 60 and 60 now we will switch on the main unit and here you can see this is the display we are getting and here you can see I have kept all the selector switches at on position so this is the off position and you need to keep it at on position like this so all the three faces are at on position on the resistive load now we will go back to the software and we need to keep the main trainer unit at on condition so that we will do the communication between the software and the main unit so now on the software firstly we'll click here and now we will do the so here you can see as we are having the numerical relay of p153 so we need to right click on and we need to click on connect as currently it is showing red so when the connection is done here you can see it has turned to green which means the software and the relay is connected now so this connection will only happen when you will provide the three phase connection to the main unit and then you need to do this steps after that when this p153 turns green so as you can see as we are not using p154 so it is in red color text and it is in green color text because it is now connected and here you can see the p153 and this is the version defined and this is the green indicator which means the device is connected and here also you can see device load successful now we will go to settings and here we are having this set 00, 0 point set and this is 0, 0, 001 point set so here we have to set the current values so these are the earth fault values and these are the overcurrent so I have set it at 0.5 so here you can see I have set it at 0.5 and now so this is a program which I have created so we will perform the same and here you can see this is for 0, 0, 1 point IOM and here we are having the relay 1 output so this is the relay 1 then this is relay 2 relay 3 and relay 4 so basically we will use the relay 3 and relay 4 so we have to check the relay 3 conditions so at OCPROT here we have to check all these and then EF1 port we have to check all these and then at EF2 port we have to check all these so these are the selected inputs so whatever the inputs you will be selecting here the selected inputs will be shown here and this is the relay and now the similar conditions will be on for the relay 4 also so here you can see from here you can cross verify for relay 3 and relay 4 the conditions sh should be same and now after doing this we need to click on save so it will save and now these blue indications will indicate that the relays conditions which we have selected are ok and if it is in green or red condition which means that it is not saved so after selecting the relay inputs you need to click on save after saving it now we will right click 
on the 001 point IOM and we will click on write IO mask and here the by default password is 00 so you need to press 0 for 4 times 0 0 0 0 so this is the password and this is a by default password which is there in the software so you need to press 4 zeros and then click on ok and here this is a pop up message which you will get which is this will update the io mask file in the relay do you want to continue and you have to click on yes and you will get a pop up message for io mask write successfully and then click on ok so now here you will get a message of io mask write successfully so after this you need to get back to your trainer unit so after the successful downloading of the program on the numerical relay now here you can see that we are getting the current values for r y b faces as indicated here so on r phase we are getting 0 0.2 ampere and at y phase we are getting 0.28 and at b phase we are getting 0.3 and we are getting earth fault as 0.05 so this is a normal condition so here you can see the normal condition relay indicator is indicating that it is a normal condition so as we have set the overcurrent value as 0.5 ampere so it is below 0.5 ampere so you can see in each phases the current value is below 0.5 ampere at R phase we are having 0.2 and at Y phase we are having 0.28 and at B phase we are having 0.3 so in each of the three phases we are having the overcurrent value less than 0.5 so it is a normal condition now we will vary a phase one by one so firstly we will vary the R phase so if I increase the value of R phase so when it will reach above the value of 0.5 so the normal condition will be changed into trip condition so let's see how it works and this is the timer so on the timer you will be getting the time which it has taken from normal condition to switching to the trip condition so let's switch it at 0.5 so here you can see I have kept it at 0.53 and this is a trip condition so now the trip indicator is indicating that it is overcurrent and now when I will reduce it to 0.5 in R phase the timer will start and when it will reach above the 0.5 value it will again stop so here you can see the timer starts as it is less than 0.5 ampere and now if I will increase the R phase value so this is the trip condition and here you can see the timer gets stopped now again we will do it for Y phase so this is the reset button which is there on the timer section so after noticing the time you need to press this reset for again reset this timer to zero now we will get back to the normal condition and here you can see as this is the normal condition the timer starts and after reaching to the trip condition the timer will stop so we will do it for Y phase so now I will increase the current for Y phase so you can notice the current for Y phase in the second diameter so here you can see this is the overcurrent condition and now this is how you can take the timer ratings similarly you can do it for B phase So in the B phase you can see this is the trip condition and when it is at normal condition the timer starts and when we will increase to 
here you can see we are getting the value in the timer section and now you can press reset so that is how you can perform the overcurrent and earth fault relay conditions so that's all the demonstration from my side if you have any query regarding this trainer unit you can contact at tesla global website you can find the link in the description for more information go through the manual thank you for watching this video if you like this video like share and subscribe to our channel